welcome to daily gospel meditation today 30th of march 2022 wednesday of the fourth week of lent the gospel passage for our meditation is taken from the gospel of saint john chapter 5 verses 17 to 30 jesus answered the jews my father is at work until now so i am at work For this reason they tried all the more to kill him because he not only broke the sabbath but he also called God his own father making himself equal to God Jesus answered and said to them Amen Amen I say to you the son cannot do anything on his own but only what he sees the father doing for what he does the son will do also For the father loves the son and shows him everything that he himself does and he will show him greater works than this so that you may be amazed For just as the father raises the dead and gives life so also does the son give life to whomever he wishes Nor does the father judge anyone but he has given all judgment to the son so that all may honor the son just as they honor the father whoever does not honor the son does not honor the father who sent him amen amen i say to you whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation but has passed from death to life amen amen i say to you The hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation I cannot do anything on my own I judge as I hear and my judgment is just because I do not seek my own will but the will of the one who sent me the gospel of the lord who can claim authority and power of life and death itself jesus not only made such claim he showed god's power to heal and restore people to allness of life he also showed the mercy of god by releasing people from their burden of sin and guilt He even claimed to have the power to raise the dead to life and to execute judgment on all the living and the dead. The Jewish authorities were troubled with Jesus' claims and looked for a way to get rid of him. He either had to be a madman and an impostor or who he claimed to be God's divine son. Unfortunately, they could not accept Jesus' claim to be the Messiah. the anointed one sent by the father to redeem his people they sought to kill him because he claimed an authority and equality with god which they could not accept they failed to recognize that this was god's answer to the long awaited prayers of his people the religious authorities charged jesus as a sabbath breaker and a blasphemer They wanted to kill Jesus because he claimed equality with God, something they thought no mortal could say without blasphemy. Little did they understand that Jesus was both human and divine, the eternal Son with the Father and the human Son conceived by the Holy Spirit in the womb of Mary. Jesus answered their charge of breaking the Sabbath law by demonstrating God's purpose for creation and redemption to save and restore life. God's love and mercy never cease for a moment. Jesus continues to show the Father's mercy by healing and restoring people even on the Sabbath day of rest. When the religious leaders charged that Jesus was making himself equal with God, Jesus replied that he was not acting independently of God because his relationship is a close personal father-son relationship. He and 
father are united in heart mind and will the mind of jesus is the mind of god and the words of jesus are the words of god if we wish to understand how god deals with the sin and how he responds to our sinful condition then we must look to jesus jesus took our sins upon himself and nailed them to the cross jesus stated that to accept him is life a life of abundant peace and joy with god but if we reject him then we freely choose for death and i pray may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen